I do like me a good weather app. Weather Up was just released. Let's talk about it. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a new app, WeatherUp. It was just released. We're going to get into the app. We're going to try out the Pro version and see how it works. But before we get into it, please like this video if you found it useful. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. Alright, let's jump into the app. This is a new app was just released. Um, going into the app, I really like this view of the US that I get. Um, at the bottom they preload some locations for you and then it, it picks your location as well as your um, uh, based off of your location where you're at right now. If you swipe up you can add more locations and then you can um, trigger based off of where you're located so it'll sync to your calendar. Um, if you're doing a lot of traveling or something like that it might be a good idea to do something like that. That's kind of a cool little feature. Uh, we'll swipe down again. You can hit the play at the top left and it'll show you um, the weather map as it's moving for a certain period of time. And then you can also look at the different map layers that are available as well. You'll see Pro start to show um, as I'm moving around. The layer of opacity at the bottom will change how those things like rain spots are showing on the map and, and that transparency of that. So let's go into settings, and uh, here is the Pro version. You can change app icon if you're using the Pro version. You, weather icons, surprisingly, don't require the Pro version. Uh, I switch from the default to the outlines. Um, I just like the look of that better, but it's kind of cool that you have some different icons you can use. Um, you can choose your different theme. You can ch check out the units, um, forecast source is going to be a pro option. So you could pull from three different sources, but by default it goes to Apple Weather, which actually isn't bad. Uh, like I believe Carrot, if you want to pull Apple Weather, that is a paid subscription option. Um, and then advanced settings, uh, just haptics in there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. It's basic. If I tap on the weather for where I'm at right now, it's going to show me the hourly forecast. Uh, I can do a 10 day. If there's an alert, a weather alert, and there just happens to be one right now for where I'm at, a wind advisory is in effect. So that's nice that you can see all that there. If I go to edit, that's where you can edit your locations. And then if I want to add, I can do a search and add locations. So let's check out the pro version. Okay, pro version. So we've got the pro version. The first thing, uh, the kind of the big thing with WeatherUp is this interactive widget that you get on your home screen. So you don't even have access to a widget if you're not on the pro version. And there's an arrow at the bottom right. If I tap on that, I can scroll through the different days and then there's a reset where you can kind of go back to where you were before. Um, it shows that I'm using Apple Weather, um, shows my alert there. The cool thing is you can tap, on, so I'm going to tap on Thursday, looks like there's some rain in the forecast, and I can start to see how that is going to play out throughout the day. So, uh, and then I'll reset there. It's a little hard to reach those, those buttons uh, on the screen, but you know, there's only so much you can have in the, um, in the widget. So if I tap on the location itself, it's going to open this up. I do think, um, so here's testing my location right now. Um, there is right below precipitation and wind, there's these this little box with two arrows pointing in towards each other. I don't think that was on the other version that I had uh, where I can collapse this. Um, so that's interesting. And the map is more focused in now, um, showing me exactly pretty close to where I am. Um, so that's a little different as well. I can zoom out on this and kind of go back and to the view I had before on the non-pro version. Um, but those are the different things. Oh, let's see. So once I went into the city, that's where that all actually changed. And then I swiped down and it took me back to that map view. 
So that's, uh, I think that's a little different than what I had on the other version, the non-pro version. Uh, and then if I go into settings, you'll see I've got the ability now to change my map app icon and I can select from a different forecast source. So that is what you get in the pro version. Overall, I really like the app. I think it's pretty cool. I like that you can change the icons. I like the uh, interactive widget that you can put on the home screen. Basic weather information, cut and dry, like it just gives you the basics. I like when you go into the app, the overall map that you get of the US or wherever you're at, and it kind of shows you the, the weather that's going on in the United States at the time. Um, it's kind of plain, but it also gives you the weather that you want, so it's nice. I don't know if it's worth the subscription. It's $4 uh, for the week or $40 monthly, I think it was what it was. Um, that's a lot considering all the other weather apps that are out there. I think I still might be a Carrot fan. Um, and then of course there's Apple Weather, but this is nice because it gives you different weather sources. It'd be nice if you could put a Tempest weather station uh, app data into it. That would be pretty cool. Um, but that's my opinion of the app. Check it out, see if you like it. Let me know in the comments below. Did you try it? Did you use it? What weather app are you using? Are you using something else? Let me know. All right, we'll talk to you later.